All right, guys, so before I get started in the following video, I just want to give a huge shout out to Blue Diamond. If it wasn't for this person, I would not be able to make this video, all right? So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Yo, how's it going, everybody? My name is Armando. Welcome back to a Dead Frontier video. So guys, it's been a minute, four days to be exact. <laughs> But we're finally back with the, uh, you know, the event going on. And not only that, I have these two sexy weapons. Well, armor and weapon. And as you can tell, the Cyrolon... Ah. Uh. Okay, so we got my shit. Now you gotta go to your credit shop. All right, I got that. Oh, wow, 20 credits. Oh, uh, you gotta buy this, yeah, okay. Oh, crap, I forgot. Take this out, okay, take all of this out. Cool! So as you can tell, guys, we finally have these two very, very amazing items, alright? So the first one is the Blue Hazard Reactive. Uh, as you can tell, 90% damage absorption, so it's basically, uh, you know, Dusk Reactive. I mean, compared to my Dusk Reactive, it's way better. Mine is only 300, this one is 620, so it can take a lot more damage. Duh. And obviously, I got a God Crafted again. Thank you, Bloom Diamond. You rock. And of course, we have, for the first time ever, an effective weapon. Well, a weapon that has an effect on the zombies, alright? So, this is the first of its kind. It's called a Cyro... No, Cyro. <laughs> uh, Cryo Launcher, Okay. And it slows enemies by 10% for 3 seconds. Okay, I'm, I'm just reading what it says there. Okay, I'm, I'm reading. I'm pretty much doing a script right now. And it uses heavy grenades, which I currently have 2800. And it has a 20 round capacity speed. It has a 20 round capacity. It has a fast reload speed. Very slow firing speed. Very high accuracy. And zero critical chance. Yeah, pretty much. And, of course, people say it looks blue in the inner city. So I have not watched any other YouTubers use this weapon. Okay, because I want to be shocked myself. Uh, there are rumors saying that the Wendigos are just OP. We're going to get you that toward the end. Uh, and also that this weapon is honestly pretty good. <laughs> All right. But I, again, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about it yet. I haven't seen it. All right. So, yeah. Let, without further ado, let's just equip our sexy, sexy armor. All right. He has it in blue. So let's just equip these weapons. And dude, that looks sick. I'm not going to lie. This weapon. Mwah. But yeah, guys. Without further ado, let's go down to the inner city and see what it does. All right. All right, let's go. All right, first things first, I just gotta say, damn, look at that freaking boost. 260% EXP boost. Uh, weapon loot chance, of course, is just the typical stuff we get every season, but I'm not complaining, man. If you are a free-to-play member, which, I mean, guys, leave in the comment section below, should I use my hardcore account? I wanna come back, but not during this, because then people are gonna be like, oh, Armando, it's not hardcore, because you, you, you use the event, and that's not fair, and yeah, I just don't want to go through that, <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's see if we can find some, uh, you know, some bit of aggro, see how good the, the cryo launcher is, and, and yeah, let's, let's just go, let's go, okay, so we got 2,000 shots, so let's see how this does, ooh, me likey, so does 131 damage, so that's not bad, that's really not bad, look, the, this thing does uh, 200 damage on critical, and the one shots. This thing does 131 on regular. <laughs> That's really not bad, but uh, let, let's see. Let's see how how bad it slows him down. Oh, oh I mean, it, it, it kind of does some. I mean, I, I guess. Let's see a spider. I mean, it's not terrible. All right, I do see a slight difference. Very slight differences. It's not supposed to be overpowered, although. My one thing would be, I mean, does it really freeze him? Let's see. I mean, it just kills him. That's, I mean, it's pretty good for that. <laughs> this is it's pretty much a two-shotter, which I must say is not terrible. So not only does it slow them down, but it kills him in two hits, which again, it's it's pretty good. <laughs> but I want to try it out against, you know, some Wendigos, because I heard, again, Wendigos are pretty much OP. But like I said, in the meantime, let's just have some fun and try out the hazard mesh. So this is gonna be a quick test. Uh oh, that, that I, I think I locked some type of aggro. Hey, asking you shall receive. Let's see. All right, let's see here. Let's see here, let's see here. Dude, I mean, for the most part, this is a pretty sick gun. <laughs> it's a pretty good gun. All right, so let's try out the hazard mesh. All right, 620, I mean, basic math. I could pretty much, you know, show you guys a graph, but my, why not use it? against the infected so let's try the dog first ready here we go one two three oh uh, it glitched 
three, four. Oh, come on, don't miss doggy. Come on, dog. Five. Oh! Six. Come on, doggy. I missed. <laughs> I'm the one missing. Oh, boy. Jeez, dog. So seven. Seven hits before it shatters. I want to say six to seven because it did glitch at one point. But yeah, six, seven hits from a dog. That's that's not bad at all, bro. So let's go ahead and fix this armor right up and be right back, okay? All right, now that we have it nice and fixed, uh, let's try it against a long arm, a green one, actually. So let's see. So hits from her. One. That does a lot more, lot more damage. But two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. Eight. 9, 10, and 11. All right, so 11 hits from a long arm. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> I must say, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's again, now let's do the last ones, which is going to be the rumblers. And yeah, we can continue on from there. Okay, now we're going to find a rumbler real quick. Rumbler, 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 rumbler. Where are you at? I mean, come on, it's the inner city. It should be somewhere. These fat guys. <laughs> ah, my good old chubby friend. All right, so let's see how many hits it takes. One, two, three. Wow, they hit a lot harder. Four, five, six, hmm, seven, eight, nine. So ten. <laughs> I can. That's that's not bad. So seven for a dog, ten for a rumbler, and eleven from a long arm. All right. Granted, the long arm didn't puke, but I think the puke does a bit more damage. So we're gonna get the long arm around say eight through eleven hits depending if she pukes on you or not but hey man that's not terrible now we're going to try the most ultimate test all right so give me a second let me heal up and let's try this ultimate test all right so let's see how it does against a leaper no no guys i'm not <laughs> i'm not gonna do that i know it's an instant <laughs> ko no matter what the leaper will forever remain the most op you know zed in the game because well it just it just kills you in one shot no matter what you do so i mean yeah leaper remains undefeated in terms of armor durability <laughs> but yeah guys enough talky talk let's go straight and find these wendigos i mean pe again people have been saying that they're overpowered and there's is actually a forum an article on their frontier that just 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 wants them nerfed already but yeah let's just go test them out again i'm not over overpowering have 43 percent speed boost but yeah let's, let's go let's stop talking all right guys so we figured out that there's some one that goes four left one down so we're gonna go ahead and take them on like i said a lot of you know not a lot of articles but i saw one specifically that was saying that hey we need to nerf these one that goes because they're so overpowered man and what I have to say to that is, I can't talk yet because I haven't faced him, but honestly, I always loved a pretty good boss, all right? Something that just made me, like, actually just go on the screen like this. You see that face like this? You're so focused, you cannot let go of looking at the screen, and honestly, it gives you a challenge. So if, if the boss is as hard as they say, and I, you know, then I'm all for it because, again, I want a good boss. I want a good fight. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what you expect. Oh, crap. Is this the, um, oh, boy. Wait, did they change that too? Huh? All right, so you should go one left. So let's, yeah, let's let's do this, guys. All right. So this is where they are. So I'm going to try using the, the, what's it called? The cryo launcher? Yeah, I'm going to try that first. All right, let's, let's see what we're up against. Damn, dude. Oh, they're there. So that's, that's, is that's what, oh, man, they're, all right, so that's the yell that they were talking about. Come on, buddy. Come on. So I have to hit him because this guy is fast. <laughs> yeah. All right, I got to be careful here. I cannot let him hit me because his yell supposedly is loud. Okay, I got to be careful here. So he can yell, as you can tell. I don't know how much health he has. Come on, buddy. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, we're doing decent so far. We're not doing terrible. I brought extra neurotonin just in case this will happen. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. Nah, I was doing way better with the cry. Oh, there's three of them. <laughs> I'm getting nervous here. <laughs> okay. There's three of them. So I need the cryo launcher for this. You need the cry. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think you do need the cryo launcher. So they made a boss corresponding to the weapon that you have. But uh, yeah, uh, with the cryo launcher, this makes it, this makes this fight a little way more durable. Okay, aim it on yourself, Armando. So aim the cry launcher on yourself. It slows the zombie dramatically. Ooh. Yeah, it slower it slows them down dramatically. <laughs> yo, 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 chill. <laughs> okay, so I haven't gotten hit by the yell. I don't know, maybe if Clayton nerfed it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there, never mind. But as far as I can tell, they made a weapon corresponding to the event, which I'm not complaining. I'm really not. The only thing I hate about it is, well, we'll we'll, figure, well, we'll talk about it at the end. But yeah, so far I'm liking the event on the fact that you know <laughs> they made again made a weapon 
that is needed for the event, I guess you can say. Let's see how it is with the cry launcher, all right? Yeah, it's gonna be rather infuriating. Not only that, they have a lot of health, dude. A lot of health. I just realized that. Jesus, I have a lot of health. But it shouldn't be long before they actually start, you know, dying because they're like the, the dogs, you know? If, you, if they, um, if you're shooting them with any type of minigun, they can't get near you, which is pretty cool. Regardless, it's just annoying. I just, I just haven't yet to kill one. Oh, there you go. Finally, dude. Jeez. Took you long enough. Looks like a longer is the Z, the Z, you know, the Z one shot like alarm. I'm not, I'm not really into find out. There you go. He's, 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 he's critiking. He's critiking. Is that even a word? <laughs> he's on critical though. He's almost done here. And there you go. Oh, and he blows up an impact. That's just unfortunate. But let's see what we get. Wait, wrong guy. There we go. Oh, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? I better hurry up because a Christmas gift 2020. But where are the rest of the Wendigos? I know that's not, not I know that's not all of them. And there you go, another one dead, just just like that. So let's loot this guy real quick and see what we get. There you go, another Christmas gift. All right, so let's see here. Uh, I mean, do they want to keep finding them? Not really. I'm not a huge fan of the events, pretty much, because it's the same good old thing, which is just grind it, get the objects, get the items, and craft the stuff. So let's just go back, guys. I mean, I showed you guys what the cryo launcher can do, and I must say it's not a bad weapon. But again, let's discuss this back in the outpost, and without further ado, let's just go. Alright guys, so we finally made it safely back to the Sekronon Bunker, and again, I must say, the Cryo Launcher, it's a pretty good gun. I'm not even gonna hate on it. It's a really good weapon, alright? It does 131 damage a tick, alright? That's pretty good, and I just comparing it to the .55x Dusk Enforcer, this one does 200 damage on a critical hit. On a critical hit, it does 200 damage. This, 131, on a non-critical. So imagine that. Imagine if at one day Admin says, yeah, grenade launchers all now hit critical hit. This thing will be unstoppable, man. But of course, it's a grenade launcher, all right? Uh, the, the the whole three seconds per hit, you know, slows enemies down isn't terrible. It really isn't. Uh, the thing is, though, in my opinion, my wholesome opinion, it's it's just too short of a disadvantage for them, all right? I feel like it should be at least uh, six, seven seconds, in my opinion, all right? Because, again, this weapon isn't cheap whatsoever. It currently costs 1,000 credits in the credit shop, and it currently costs around 29 million in the market. So it's, it's a pretty hefty weapon. It's pretty expensive, and not only that, like I said, it, I just feel like it requires that one, six, seven seconds per hit just to make it deemable, all right? But I must say, for grinding for these, you know, for these top survivors, this is a great weapon. It really reduces, you know, the danger of you getting killed, and, you know, when you're going outside in the wasteland, go, you know, going against a full, uh, you know, aggro, all right? It slows them down by 10%, so, again, the risk of you dying goes down exponentially, all right? Not to say, I mean, you have those, you know, 50 million implants that gives you, like, 40, 100% more speed all right I, I mean yeah you have that and you might have a race cannon more, more than likely but you know the cry launcher it's a pretty good weapon again it, it, if you don't have a race cannon this honestly is the best next thing when it comes to grinding for top survivor and more or less boss haunting all right it's not a terrible weapon it really isn't it really is not as for the armor again a good good armor <laughs> again seven you know seven hits from a dog 11 hits from a long arm and 10 hits from a rumbler that's not at all horrible it's pretty good armor all right it's double you know the durability of a regular dusk reactive i mean i guess i just got so used to getting you know four hits by a dog and it's destroyed that when it comes to this i just i'm like wow i still got another five seven hits left in me before this armor breaks so i mean for 2200 credits though that's just i mean yikes I mean, you, you gotta pay sixty dollars for this armor. That's insane. <laughs> that, that's that's pretty crazy. All right, you gotta pay thirty-five dollars for this stinking uh, grenade launcher. Again, they're not terrible items. It's just something that I just wouldn't really go for. I mean, again, I did. I do have a wraith cannon. Get. I guess once you have a wraith cannon, what is the point of these other weapons? Which is why I always tell people, if you're gonna buy a wraith cannon, just know any weapon that ever comes out in the future, unless it's a cryo launcher that has some type of effect, or maybe a weapon like, let's say, a thunder weapon that you know. The, the effect goes throughout the aggro. That would be freaking fun. <laughs> a electric gun, a thunder gun that once you shoot, it zaps through the other the others affected. That'd be cool as hell. And of course we have crafting, you know, we have the wonderful the, the Christmas cloak is something I really, really like. I don't know if I should get it though. I mean Oh yeah, and then there's this plus six percent damage and you know reduction, plus six percent damage inflicted, and yeah, that's pretty much it. But I mean, I might go for the Christmas cloak just because it looks like it looks like a nice thing. Oh, actually, let's open up our Christmas gift now that we're talking about it. Let's see. 
a uh, Christmas hat and and the yeah, Christmas candy but yeah but overall guys I mean I give the cry launcher a nice 7 out of 10 all right it's, it's a pretty good weapon I'm not gonna lie the effect isn't bad you can tell when they slow down it's, it's pretty nice I like it and the sound effect it makes for when you know when it freezes these guys top notch the armor I give an, an 8.5 out of 10 all right uh, only because you know pretty much you can just buy two cheap armors how much is a Tata right now let's see I mean you can buy how much is it? a Tata cow for 2.5 mil and if you buy like what like if you buy what four of these I mean that's that's pretty good you know that's some good backup armor so I'm, I'm just saying <laughs> and of course you have you know and of course a hazard reactive is yeah 70 mil so I mean you pick your poison guys so yeah, I, but I still, it's a great armor. I'm not dissing on it. It's just that, you know, you can do so much more with the money you have, all right? But 70 mil for this thing, it's... Yeah. But yeah, guys, that's all I gotta say. Again, huge shout out to Blue Diamond. Thank you very much, man, for lending me the weapons. Uh, I might ask him to, you know, let me borrow this just so I can go loot in the NEZ. See how you do against, you know, again, a random aggro spike or whatever like that. But yeah, I think that's another video for the future. I'm going back to hardcore FPS Armando. I've been meaning to go back to him. It's just the fact that it's, it really is a long time to make a good account from, you know, from scratch, from Peter Play. And like I said, if I die with that account, it's pretty much over. <laughs> but yeah, one last thing. Uh, feel free to, you know, join my Discord server. It's down in the description below. We have a lot of things going on. We're always talking, you know, if you don't care, this me, this, def, this, this, that, this, that. Just, just bring any, any topic and you won't be, you know, discriminated against because it's your opinion. Just don't bring up any other, you know, inappropriate stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah guys, I'm Ronald signing out. I'll see you beautiful people later. And yeah, take it easy guys. Bye.